right, guess what we just saw? The Disaster Artist! That's right, I knew people would guess that when you showed your shirt. I have to say, I went into this movie with very low expect- Not very low expectations, but I expected it to be a nice comedy. Um, very engaging, showing a behind the scenes of a film. The Room, which is known as one of the worst movies of all time. I, I, I can't confirm or deny that, but it is pretty bad. What kind of drugs do you take? This is a movie that right away developed the friendship between Tommy Wiseau's character and Greg. I don't even think it was about making the film so much as it was about these two guys who had who have a dream of being actors, successful actors, of making it in the business. And I think um, this is gonna sound weird. In a way, it reminded me of La La Land from last year. <laughs> Which seems odd, but it really did. And I don't think we should kid ourselves. I think most people are going into this film thinking like, this is gonna be, you know, really funny seeing other people that we know <laughs> do the room behind the scenes. <laughs> what a story, Mark. But I think what is so successful about this film is that this guy, Tommy Wiseau, who is like, when you watch The Room and when you listen to interviews with him, I think most people see him as, like, the biggest weirdo ever. Like, he doesn't even see human at parts. And in some miraculous way, this movie made him seem relatable to everyone. This guy, while he had his faults, it wasn't like a Tommy Wiseau love affair, like, this is the greatest guy ever. Oh. Like, he had his flaws. But at the same time, you see this filmmaker as a human and you can relate to him, which I think is so important for anyone, you know, who has a dream to do anything and has been told they can't do it, they're not good at it, what it did beyond what you expected is actually create a meaningful story and a meaningful dialogue about the way people are seen by society and the way they, they use that reaction from other people to do what they do. This movie was really successful in making me fascinated with Tommy Wiseau. I know a lot of people were already very fascinated by him, you know, all this mystery behind him, but it wasn't until I saw this film that I just wanted to know so much more because it, it gives you exactly what probably this man gives to people in his real life, just little tastes and like, this craziness about him that it makes you wonder like well, why is he this way and I don't think we'll ever know and a part of that makes me die a little inside there's a quote by Ricky Gervais is that you want to bring something into this world you want to create something and you want to have people see it and say I did that and you know the big payoff is seeing the premiere of the room knowing what you know about the room knowing that it's not going to go the way that you intended I think both of us um, having made films of our own yeah. and having them premiere at film festivals and stuff. I think something that it captured really well in that last premiere scene is to know like when you have your own work, probably for artists or what or whatever, artists, filmmakers, uh, singers, songwriters, whatever, like to know like the special attention that you pay to every single reaction. Oh yeah. And every single scene that you made in that movie and every single word that you made in this movie you know what you intended and what you expected that reaction to be every single reaction that he expected in that film like he thought this was the great drama of the yeah. time like he thought that this was going to be like his east of eden or whatever he thought like he was going to be the next james dean as a person just having that feeling of like what you thought was like the greatest achievement in your life just falls flat on its face and that's just heartbreaking in a way. Like most movies, it's not going to be for everyone. There's going to be some people that see this. I think that's probably why it doesn't have a wide release. There's going to be some people that see this that are just completely not going to get it. And probably those people have not seen The Room or don't really know much about it. But this movie is successful at, at what it does. It's funny. It's serious too. And it's very well done all around. And James Franco did exceed my expectations. And I would not be surprised if he were nominated for Best Actor for this. And I also would not be disappointed if he won. Because 
It takes a certain level of skill to play somebody that actually exists. It takes a certain level of skill to play a real life person. And there were moments where I could not even tell the difference. Watching the trailer, I was a little like, eh, I don't know, like he still, he looks like James Franco in a wig. But seeing the movie transformed completely. Very good. I always say this for the past few years, but I'm always much more impressed with female performances in movies. <laughs> you must be kidding, aren't you? Sam Rockwell, I think, has been the most impressive performance I've seen so far, but his is a supporting role. In three billboards outside Ebbing, three Missouri. three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Yep. Um, I mean, there's going to be stiff competition. Um, I, I don't think he'll win. I think he he might get nominated. I think it's like a borderline possibility. James Franco? He'll get nominated. Yeah, I don't think there's any way he's going to win. I do think there's a decent chance he'll get nominated. His brother's adorbs too, as Greg. <laughs> I never saw him in something before. He, he freaking adorbs Dave Franco, right? Dave Franco? Sure. Freaking adorbs. What the heck? Good grief. All right. <laughs> okay, you're going to think I'm pulling your leg, but five out of five. <laughs> Let's go see Ferdinand just to see if the streak continues. <laughs> five out of five. John Cena deserves an Oscar for playing a bull. <laughs> I also give this movie five out of five. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, um, again, it gave me all I all I wanted, all I expected. Um, I was much more looking forward to this movie than she was. I think. Yeah, and, and I was, I, I was. Um, happy, very happy. It gives you all the laughs you need and. Plus, you know, a good storyline and a good character-driven movie to boot and a lot to research after. What did you think of The Disaster Artist? Are you looking forward to seeing it? It may not be playing in a theater near you for very much longer. It's like, I want to get out there. But let us know what you're thinking down in the comments, and we will... Oh, bye, Mark.